Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love in General Reading. Uh, this is for the element of water. So if you're Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of October 4th through the 6th, 2024. So then thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general. So they may or may not resonate, but hopefully get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal reading, uh, be sure to email me first. And if you're looking for your individual sign reading, those are on Patreon, so be sure to check me out. All right, so we have the overall energy as the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Magician, and the Ace of Swords. Hmm... Okay, so I feel like there is some connection that you're having with someone. Um, could be an air sign. Uh, also could be two people that you're connecting with. Maybe air and another water sign. Um, I kind of feel like you're trying to listen to your intuition uh, in regards to maybe how you feel about somebody or... It's something that you're trying to pick up. Um, maybe you're trying to figure out if someone is being honest with you. Um, or maybe you're trying to figure out if someone has like an ulterior motive. Um, you might feel like somebody is using you or like maybe that's been an issue where people always want to use you for something. And... It is possible that one or both of these people could be trying to manipulate you or deceive you in some way. I feel that truth is being mixed with lies. Something, something is being covered up. I feel that you can't get a good feel on somebody uh, because of this, um, it just seems like it's something you're detecting, but you aren't quite sure what it is. I kind of feel like you've never really experienced this before. Like if normally you're very good at like picking um, or detecting uh, liars or thieves or something like that, like you maybe are normally very good at that, but it seems like you're like, hmm, this is new. Uh, I can't figure out, you know, the, the story with this person. And so I feel like you're just like having a hard time reading someone, uh, someone's energy. Mm. I do feel like someone is very good at what they do. Someone is a very good performer. Hmm. It almost looks too like maybe someone is like saying some things so direct that you're like, okay, there's no way. This person is just, they're joking because like, why would they say this? So why would they admit that? And it might be one of those situations where it's just like super confusing to understand. Um, almost like when you see, okay, for instance, there was um, this video I saw of Roseanne Barr talking about, uh, yeah, they eat children or, you know, they're vampires. And she was like, they're literally vampires that, you know, she was just like talking about this. So as a matter of fact, that you just kind of like sit back the, or the interviewer is like, Okay, this is a when does the punchline come? You know, and it's kind of like somebody is just like being so honest. Or like if somebody jokingly said something like that on an interview. Oh, yeah, I just ate a kid yesterday. And you're just like, oh, okay, strange sense of humor. But, and it's like, mm, they were actually telling the truth. Like something weird like that might be going on. Like you're having a hard time reading someone because they're, it's either like the truth, like right in your face or... You know, it's just really confusing. So, yeah, I kind of feel like you're going to have a hard time with this. And you're just going to have to, you know, trust your gut. 
uh, whether or not you believe this person or if you still want to be involved with them depending on what they're saying to you. Now, of course, hopefully it's nothing extreme like that, but, you know, um, it just seems like whatever this person is saying to you, you either roll with it or just like let it go. Um, now, this is actually good for a, someone who is a performer or an actor because I feel like somebody is so good that you... I don't know they're just believable and you're like oh my god like they're crying and then all of a sudden they, they just stop crying and after cut and it's just like how are you doing this you know so I feel like it, if you're a performer uh, this is good energy maybe people are just feeling like you're so believable it's just hard to figure out you know if you're acting or if you're really going someplace personal um Love situation, though, I always, I don't like the, I never like these energies in a love situation. Um, I just always feel like somebody is being manipulative and dancing circles around you and, um, you know, just being very good at covering up their lies or somehow deflecting it or putting something back on you. Hmm. Now, also, this is, you know, good energy when it comes to uh, business. So if you have a business, like maybe you're just very good at um, fluffing things up, like you're trying to sell a product or trying to convince someone to get something like then this is good energy for that. Uh, this is also good energy for someone who maybe works in engineering um, or communications. However, there is a possibility that someone has your phone tapped or like they're hacked into your information and Maybe someone is able to see you, hear you, record you, watch you. Um, so there's a strong possibility that you're being hacked. Uh, even if someone isn't necessarily trying to steal your information, uh, they're just maybe being nosy. Um, maybe someone wants to sell your information. Uh, so also be careful with Things that you sign up for or submit your information to. Mm. Someone might be like a petty thief. I kind of feel somebody also um, maybe just got out of jail or has at least been to jail before. Not in a holding cell, like somebody has spent some time in jail. I feel like somebody has learned like tricks and trades from um, either again, certain things happening in jail or just someone in their family. I was getting like a parent, like somebody learned how to scam from their parent Hmm. Now, you also might be doing certain things um, to, to get away with something. You're like, okay, let me try this. And maybe this isn't normally like you, but it's like, okay, let me, let me try lying about this or hiding this information. Let me see if I can get away with X, Y, Z. Let me see if I can... Um, manipulate my way out of this uh, situation and I don't know maybe you don't normally finesse people but it's like you you're doing it maybe you're also kind of good at it or it's like some sort of a hidden talent you're like I just want to see if they was gonna believe me and I they believed me um, so this definitely could be you mm. yeah You also might not normally 
I don't know, flirt with people. But maybe you're just like saying a bunch of charming or witty things and you're actually good at it. Hmm. And I kind of feel like almost like two people actually are good together. Kind of like the thief and a liar. Um, in fact, you might be a good person, but there's a side of you that, you know, isn't so great. And then you end up getting with somebody who brings out that side of you. Um, kind of like a Bonnie and Clyde situation or... Well, they were both kind of, I guess, wanting to rob banks. I don't know who manipulated who. Um, but you get the gist. It's like, I don't know, something about your talents combined. And you make one super monster or whatever. It's like, together, the thief and a liar. You know, us together, we could do this. We can accomplish that. Okay, so somebody is also putting on an act. I feel like somebody is not happy. Somebody is not happy or lonely, but they're just like putting on a show. I kind of feel that it could be you um, or somebody around you, but somebody's like depressed and just wants to go away. Hmm. You also might secretly wish that somebody would go away or leave. Going back to if you are a creative person, or you have like these ideas or if you want to invent something and you have an idea that you'd like to patent, um, I feel like you need to be careful who you share this idea with. Mm, I feel like somebody is looking to steal an idea. I don't know if you have like some sort of notebook. Just be careful who you let see this notebook. Hmm. So I also feel uh, like metaphysically that someone is trying to get your attention or call out to you. Uh, and this is where the manipulation comes from because somebody is trying to manipulate your energy and get you to think of them um, or they're trying, they want you to see something. They wanna see if what they can do actually works. They're like, I think I can uh, manipulate people's minds but I'm not sure and I kind of feel like somebody is testing this ability on you or you are doing it to somebody somebody might be trying to make you have dreams about them Uh, if you're in an established relationship, I feel like somebody is lying or hiding something. Um, kind of looks like somebody might be trying to 
creep out of the relationship. Mm. Or somebody is in a relationship, but it's like a facade. They aren't truly happy. Um, uh, definitely could be living a lie. Mm. Hmm. It does look like somebody's life or relationship is a facade. It's an illusion. Um, there is something else going on behind the scenes that is sad. Mm. Feels like someone is also obsessed with uh, spying. Especially if someone is hacking, like I feel like it's an obsession. Someone might be going through like your files, like for hours, uh, days at a time. Like they go to work, they come home, they access your information, they're going through stuff. And like I said, it may not necessarily be that they're trying to steal it. They ju they're just being nosy because they can. And something is kind of making me think of like um, in the Matrix that how it was like several uh, people's lives or like a, it was a bunch of TV screens. I think that was the Matrix where it's like all these TV screens and it's like somebody else, somebody's life is in each TV screen or something like that. I almost feel like somebody is monitoring something, but they're like obsessed with it. Again, I'm getting someone's life is a facade or an illusion. It's a deflection. Mm. Especially if someone is gay and they just don't want to be seen as gay, even if that is acceptable or, you know, at least more acceptable. Nowadays, I feel like somebody is just like living a complete lie. Um, hmm. I also feel like somebody is trying to or having to lie on their application about something. Maybe it's like a white lie or it's like you have to lie. It's like I don't like lying, but... If I tell the truth, they're not going to give me this, you know, so I, I got to say that I make this much. Or I got to I got to make my own uh, uh, rent receipts. So I got to make like something's going on where somebody is like, I don't want to do this, but I have to. I feel that something also needs to be brought to your attention. Especially if you're supposed to be in a committed relationship, uh, you might start seeing huge red flags um, or your ancestors are like, please pay attention, please look up, please, you know, so something's going on where something does need your attention. Somebody also might uh, release some information, uh, but like through a disguise, kind of like um, uh, anonymous or QAnon, something like that.
If dealing with anything contractual, I feel that either someone could get caught in a lie, which would terminate some sort of contract or agreement, or um, either way is still having to cancel some sort of agreement and start a new one. Something might get voided. Mm. I feel like I don't know like you hear from somebody but then you don't respond back or you immediately delete the message they sent or Someone also could share something and then delete it after thinking about it. They're like, let me delete that. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, the most I'm getting from this though is like somebody is hacking your account or your information. All right, let's pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for water signs Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Arising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you have Angel of Balance, Hostilities, Envy, Overall Energy, Anxiety. Hmm. So the other part of this seems like something is worrying you. Hmm. I don't know, you might have like enemies that are exposed to you uh, or maybe, like I was saying earlier, usually you're good at seeing through people or detecting lies, but something has got you a little um, confused or you're just like, what is this? Like, hmm. So I feel like there is someone that is giving you anxiety because you can't quite figure them out. Everybody is uh, trying to use you or, you know, people have used you so many times that you just don't trust people and you're just like on a defense. I feel like you can't really tune into your intuition. You're trying to see like, should I trust this person? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I also feel like you're being protected or something, something or someone is watching over you or trying to uh, protect you. Hmm. Uh, something else I was getting ready to say. Now, there is someone that might be holding a grudge or is envious of you or they're doing something because they're envious of you. Um, could be a neighbor. Hmm. Also, if this is your energy, just make sure that, you know, you aren't caught up with someone else's life and, or too fixated on someone else's life and just focus on your own. 
All right, so hopefully this helps. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.